Hey, what's up? This is Gary on Podcast. My guest this week is Tommy Davison, a.k.a. Juana Man's uh, Secret Lover. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a man or not. That Juana, Juana Man. Honestly, all the roles you did, uh-huh. I think that's my favorite. Because that made me laugh. Uh-huh. Every time you get... The funniest was the end <laughs> when you go, Juana Man, I feel some kind of way. <laughs> I was like, that's just... To me, how much was that ad-libbed? You was, had to be ad-libbed. Now. You're just an audience. That, that was... That was are all ad lib because they didn't have an end to the movie. Oh, really? So the director runs in my trailer and goes, we don't got an end, you know? <laughs> so we're just going to put the camera on you, and can you just tie the whole movie together? And I'm like, okay, yeah. You know, you, you, you know you're still in love with Juana, man, but you know he's a man, so, so I just went, you know, <laughs> I feel some kind of way. Uh, Juana, man, I, I love you even though you're a man. And then I went, what's happening with me? You know <laughs> You know whose favorite scene that was ever? Keenan's. Oh, really? Yeah, Keenan was at the premiere and he was in tears. Yo. He walked, he walked him in the lobby. He said, Man, I think that was the best scene. I've did a living color with you for five years. I think that was the best scene you've ever done. I, I agree. You know? I agree. <laughs> I saw it and I go, dude, that's the one part I wait to the end of the movie. I'm like, God right, right, damn. But right. the, I mean, the whole movie you just I was like, cause as a comedian, you watch stuff like that and uh-huh, you're like, uh-huh, uh-huh. nobody wrote that. Right, Nobody right. It, wrote it, it that. It came from the soul. You, you know, know what I mean? Or, 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 or uh, uh, country got you crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Oak Town 357. You know, who knows about Oak Town 357? Right. Who knows about Oakland, right? Who's yeah. going to say something like that? This dude is like out there, you know, <laughs> watch the fire stone tires. You know, you, you, you know what I mean? You're, you're a Clipper Daryl before Clipper Daryl. <laughs> I'm telling you, if, if, you know, they called me, Warner Brothers called me about that movie, and they said, this movie is not funny, you know? Can you think of a character that you can drop in this movie that would be funny? So I took Puffy, mm-hmm. Lil John, and I put them all into one dude. You what know? year was that? What year did you film it? That had to be 2001, maybe. Because that was on the shelf for a minute. Yeah. Because yeah, I remember hearing, yeah. like, you get the trade. It's more of a cult hit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, I remember it, reading it, the it trades. It got around, you know? But I remember reading the trades, mm-hmm. and then it took forever to come out. I was like, right. when does this movie come right, out? Right, right. It was one of those things that, but once it came out, you know, I started getting the calls and, and Puff Smokey Smoke worked, you know, and it was just like, you know, it was Miguel Nunez's movie. Yeah. You know, who's he? Vivica Fox. You know, we love him, but, you know, Vivica Fox. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and Genuine. Yeah. Oh, I forgot you Genuine. Know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Genuine, you know. I completely forgot about Genuine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that movie is so funny. So... You just oh, said all the movies on. I did. That's I know, but yeah, yeah. that was funny to okay, me. Okay, okay, okay. But it, it's, well, Keenan got this. You know, so he's if he I didn't thinks say the that, movie know, was the best movie. Right, right, right. I said <laughs> that character yeah, I didn't say was that my either. favorite. I didn't say that either. That ca- it's just because you, when you're a stand up, uh-huh. you watch some things. Like when I was watching Talladega Nights, uh-huh, uh-huh. I knew when they were ad libbing. Right, John right, C. Riley and Will Ferrell. Right, I go, right. no writer wrote that. Nah, no writer wrote nah. some of that. And I'm going, oh, they was winging that. I saw it the other night, and I'm looking at his character, and Farrell, I mean, he, it's the stuff he does, and he's just like white bread, country dude, and he really is that guy. Yeah. And he's like Billy Bob Thornton. Once he plays a character, it's like, you know, there, there's this movie, I forgot what he was in, man, uh, uh, but he plays this, you know, white, you know, white trash guy way out in Tennessee with a shotgun, and he is that guy. Will Farrell? Uh, no, no, it was uh, 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 um, with Bill Paxton. Uh, from um, uh, Terminator, uh, you yeah. know, uh, uh, from Aliens, you know. What are we gonna do now, guys? Yeah. Oh no, that guy. You oh, know that what I mean? guy. Yeah, yeah. That guy stole the, the Aliens movie. Oh, he he yeah. stole it. He had a whole career out of that. Oh my you? god. And now you're doing tornadoes now. Yeah, you know, yeah. All, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're all tornadoes Titanic. now, buddy. Yeah, you're Titanic. <laughs> you're de- you're you're a destruction guy now. This guy's a know? natural disaster waiting to happen. Yeah, man. <laughs> a career off of one line, and 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 so Billy Bob, he every every character that he plays. He just plays it. He's just white guy with a beer, you know, just going, womp, womp, remember that? Remember we did that? Womp, womp. You know, what does that mean? But yeah. it's just like, it was like hilarious. Just the little things that people can do um, because we stand in front of a mic by ourselves and make 5,000 people laugh that have their own brains at the same time. Right. It's, it's like it's like a magician. Yeah, especially stand-up. You know? Movies, yeah. one thing. Yeah. I think with movies... You got people come in, they kind of know what the plot is. Mm-hmm, they know mm-hmm, what it's about. Mm-hmm. Stand up, we're the only, I think we're the only art form where mm-hmm. you have a certain level of expectation, mm-hmm. but you don't know what's coming because you want new stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah. So you don't know yeah, what's coming. So you, you see you Star got, Wars? Yeah. yeah, there better be yeah, some, you got it. So, you're some lifesavers. It. You know, you're going to see the little golden dude. You know, yeah. you know, <laughs> you know never tell me the odds. You, go, you, yeah. you know what's going to happen. But with us, you know, we're, we're like the field goal kickers. It's like, you know, the game is on the line. And it's like, you know, we're hit or miss. It's just like, you know, we don't want no timeouts. Yeah. You know, we want to just go out there, you know, you know, no, you're not going to come on for a little while, man. You know, somebody else is going to, you're going, come on, man. I got to, I got, I got to kick this field goal. Yeah. You can't be iced down. You know, you got to have the right, you know, step to the side. You got to tap the toe, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, hey. So we, you said right before we came on, this is the first time we've been in frame together on anything. We've yeah. never worked together yeah. on camera on no, anything. No, man. No. All the no. years. And, and I'm saying, trying to like, figure out where we met. I mean, it's been over know, 20 years, but where do we like You didn't do that meet? thing with uh, a chocolate sundae, did you? I don't want to talk about that. Did you do chocolate sundae as a documentary on no, Amazon? No, no, It was the, 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 the improv show that we did on stage. Uh, Pookie did this like in living color thing on Oh, stage. I don't want to talk about that. You, they, were they, you in there? They stole. You were in there? They stole we one of my bits. We were in the same frame. Oh, they did. What was, what was it? Oh, yeah, they did. Straight stole They it. did. When they when the dude was saying the N-word. The N-word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's from your act. Man. I called Pookie. That's right. Uh, he Tommy. put a sketch. That's your act. Tommy. Yeah, yeah. Social media it was worked, telling me. by the way. Oh, it killed. <laughs> Tommy, listen. They People were calling me when they filmed it and right, said, yo, right. yeah, I get did my you write on this? They asked me if I wrote that. it. Yeah. And yeah. I go, what are you talking about? Right. Then when it aired, you know, social media, boom, boom. Right. and I'm not one because I think comedians, right, we all right. think alike. You know, I'm <laughs> right, not going right, to be like, right. you stole my bit. That was a straight thievery. Amen. And I, this Amen. is what I knew. They stole it. I called Amen. Pookie, uh-huh. and I like Pookie. I uh-huh. said, Pookie, um, who wrote it? So I know where to, where to um, send my anger. Right. He right. goes, Gary, we have a think tank, and we don't even have a writer. It's just people. I said, well, who came up with the idea? He goes, I don't really know. The There's tank. like six of us in a room. Yeah. I go, yeah. Pookie, it's my bit. Right. And your you know it. Sh- your show's on Showtime? Right, right. My special was on Showtime. Right, right. And I'm right. going, I just said, look, oh, yeah, yeah. you could have just called me. Mm-hmm. I would have said yes based right. on a joke right, by right, Gary Owen right. is all I would have had to say. Or I would have been in it. Hey, man. I was like this. You know. Yeah, so no, I wasn't on Chocolate Sundays. I can't, I can't figure it out. I mean, I can only sum it up in two words, Carlos Mencia. And, <laughs> and, 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 you know, and I'll leave it at that. You know? <laughs> what did... What year did you do your first special? You had HBO specials mm-hmm. first, right? No, Showtime. I was, you were Showtime? I was a star on Showtime. Wow. I was a star on Showtime. Because that's the first time I saw yeah. it. I think it was in high school right. or junior high or something. Well, the HBO didn't like me. They didn't like me and Jim Carrey. They didn't like our type of, you know, like they said, you guys are too zany. We don't want that on HBO. You know, so we went to Showtime. You know, they didn't want Ben Stiller either. You know, Ben Stiller. HBO? We don't, yeah, we don't, we don't know who, what he is. You know, we just can't quite put our... Mind around your comedy. Which you know. was the special you were like running all over the place in the intro? DC, DC. And DC, that's DC. it. That's it. I was going to say Atlanta, but yeah. Sinbad was it. Because you and yeah. Sinbad about the same time mm-hmm. were, I was like, I always knew I wanted to be a stand up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But those were the, those two specials I remember watching before I was, I was like junior high or high school. Mm-hmm. You had and to be. Yeah. I was going, oh, wow, there's, there, there's something to this. Like, mm-hmm, the, mm-hmm. you can't just wing this. Like right. the, cause right. that's a, that's the first time I saw specials. You guys were kind of talking to the audience a little bit, mm-hmm. messing mm-hmm. with them. You can break the wall and talk to them. You can heck, you get a yeah. I never you, seen that before. You can actually yeah. You can actually if someone's heckling, we got the cameras covering the whole audience. So if yeah. someone says something, you know, you can say something back to them. You know, I made it famous. You know, a guy in a wheelchair. Uh, uh, oh, no, uh, 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 Marvis Fraser shows up. We don't know he's there. Oh, that's right. Right, that's and so right. he heckles me. <laughs> You know, he heckles me, and I go, oh, Marvin Frazier is here. You know, uh, 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 let's give it up. You know, he just fought Mike Tyson, you know what I mean? He bought one of the, you know, and he did really, really great. And 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 one of the good, the good news is he's he's got one of the most expensive wheelchairs in the world. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, I can watch TV on it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I can use the phone. <laughs> That's right. You know, you know what I mean? I, you know, it's just like, you know... But what, what happened revolutionary in comedy for me on that special is HBO at the time were doing specials with like a brick wall. They paid all their, all their money to the comic, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and they, they put the money, you know, in their pocket, okay? So basically you were the same budgets. Yeah. But Eddie Murphy had a special. No one was doing like 1,500 seaters 
a thousand seaters comedy specials. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we were thinking, how do we do that? How do we do that? So what we did was we took three shows. We sold three shows at 1200 at, 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 um, at George Washington University. We charged for the shows. We paid ourselves out of the live shows and we put the rest of the money in our pockets so that we can afford to have the place. Mm -hmm. And we put the whole budget into the building and into the set. Are you out of pocket or Showtime's paying you? Um, Showtime's paying me, but they're not paying us enough to do like an arena. Right, 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 right. You know what I mean? So we take the money that paid us out of the live and use the whole budget for the arena and the set and the whole thing. And oh. then HBO turns around and starts doing one night stands. Wow. And that's when everybody has a has a backdrop. They have a big audience. So the formula, I can't take credit for the formula. This guy named Paul Block, who, who, who really taught me how to produce. And he said, you can do this, but in certain ways. But it went on to be the way that comedy was formatted from then on, like Eddie Murphy specials, Delirious. Mm -hmm. So from then on, you see all the, all the um, one night stands. Chris did one, all these people do one night stands. Then they started doing their own individual specials. Mm -hmm with that same kind of format. And quite coincidentally, the producers that work with me on my show were the producers of these shows. So they did Chris Rock's show, they did Dave's show, they did all these shows with that same kind of thing. So it, in a way, um, we came up with that formula. Huh. You know, and that was, I was the first comic, young comic at the time, to do that formula. How old were besides you? Them. I was like 22. That's crazy. Maybe. When did you start doing stand-up? Yeah, I started doing stand-up when I was like 19. 19, eh. 18 going on 19. In D.C.? In D.C. At the Improv mm -hmm. or where? No, at, at a strip club. A strip club? Yeah, I swear to God. The worst strip club ever. Like You just went up? I mean, you know, I called my friend Howard. I told him I got a new job at the Ramada Inn. And he said, man, you the stupidest motherfucker I ever seen in my life because you could be a movie star. You're the funniest thing ever. You da 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 I'm like, you mad because you ain't got a job. So he calls me and he goes, hey, man, I got, a, you know, he worked at this strip club. He said, I, I talked the manager into letting you onto the stage. I'm like, get out of here, man. I'm not doing that shit. He comes to my house. I got a Datsun B210. It's February. It's freezing. I said, he said, come on, you're going down there with me. So I said, come on, get in the car. Boom, ba radiator bust. You know, th that's the end of that trip. The bus comes at the same time, like some kind of movie. He climbs on the bus and goes, be here next week. You know, he's at the door. <laughs> My, my B210 is fixed. We go down there. We get down there. And um, the manager looks up, you know, at me. And he goes, so this guy, you want this guy to go up? And he said, yeah, man, I'm telling you, man. And, and he goes, man, you got five minutes, man. And I look at Howard, right? And I go, Howard, but what am I supposed to do? You know? And you had no jokes? No. I just was just general, you know, generally funny, just always the funny and guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I said, what am I supposed to do? And he looked me right in the eyes. He said, I don't care what the fuck you do, man. Just say something. And I went up there from the first thing I said, people laughed, man. And, I, it, and I'm sitting here with you. It was like- Yeah, but 19-year-old you know, Tommy Davidson, I, hey, that's a fine motherfucker. You know, yeah, <laughs> oh, man, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I went right, I, oh. I just told real, I told the real shit. I just you got went, energy yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine energy at 19. Like, you just pop locking into the club. <laughs> right, right, but you know, but it was the worst strip club. I mean, the guys actually had jackets on outside of the club. The security guys had jackets on, and on the back of it said, don't shoot them. Really? Yeah. It was a joke, but, you know, still, it was just like the worst. But I told, my first joke wasn't really a joke. It was actually a real story. I said, you know, anybody got roaches? And everybody said, yeah, we got roaches, you know. I said, we had so many roaches, man, that um, my mother said, you guys got to stay home this weekend and clean the kitchen for the whole weekend, and we'll have no more roaches. You know, so me and my sister did that. And we didn't have any more roaches, you know? But then we found out they were eating our couch. You see what I mean? So they moved from the kitchen. But everybody just right. laughed because they knew, you know, their roaches seek a new home. Right. You know what I mean? The next thing you know, they're in the hamper. You yeah. know, <laughs> West, West Coast doesn't have a lot of roaches. I was, I was delighted to see that you guys had no roaches out here. You know, Cincinnati. Yeah, we got some monsters. Uh -huh. Not like Florida. Uh -huh. You know, not uh -huh. like Florida. In Florida, they're like, you know, they're like, Volkswagens. No, they're they're teacup Yorkies. Yeah, they they fly. Yeah, you know, <laughs> they actually fly. You know, so that that was my first first. But you know, you 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 take a look at that as a stand up. I didn't know that I was a stand up. I just knew that I was a funny guy. Howard got me at this club. There's naked girls everywhere. I'm there all weekend. 
I'm 18 years old, all yeah. right? And I'm killing during the weekend, and it's getting more impacted, and more impacted, and more So packed. people are now showing up at the strip club. Right. To see this young kid tell jokes. Right. And so one day, one night, when we were all done and I'm about to leave, you know, one of the chicks came up to me, and she said, here, I'm going to put this on your, your, your jacket. And I said, yeah, okay, whatever. And I went home. And I took the jacket off, and there was a little pin on the jacket that said, number one comedian. And I was like, oh, shit, I think I'm a comedian. You know, and it started. I started doing contests in D.C., won all of them. Um, went to my first comedy club, was Garvin's in D.C., and guess who was there that same night for open mic? Chappelle and Martin. Really? For open mic, yep. Martin wasn't talking to me. He had a... Dude, had a, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three open mic and Yeah, open mic and Martin had a, a, a you know, those old uh, Adidas jackets he would, he would, Eddie would wear with the red yeah. stripe, and he had a you know, golden child hat, you know, and he wasn't talking to me. And Chappelle used to live in my neighborhood, so I knew him. Yeah. Chappelle was always kind of scared of us because we were kind of rough, you know. But, you know, we were all there to see Sinbad because Sinbad won Star Search. Yeah. Star Search is like uh, the voice or whatever of comedy back in the day. So we're all there to see him, and we all did time. That's how we all met, was there. Wow. Mm -hmm. you, you think about, like, I started in San Diego. You started mm -hmm. in D.C. Mm -hmm. Then you think about... The, you wonder what happened to all the other guys. Like you brought you mm -hmm. brought up Chappelle mm -hmm. and Martin. Mm -hmm. There had to be 50, 60 other guys that was oh, yeah. open micing with you. Oh, and you yeah. wonder like, did they stop? Did they just give yeah. up? Did they yeah. move on to something else? Yeah. Because San Diego, I started with Nick Cannon. Okay, okay. Um, really? Bobby okay. Lee. Okay. Like that uh -huh. was my guys in San Diego right, who right. just open mic and trying your name out there. That's my man. Bobby Lee, oh, most most like most most unlikely to succeed. Yeah, and, and you know what I mean. It's just like it's just like you take a look at him, you go, eh, get out of here, man. What are you gonna do? Yeah, and kills. Well, I and remember, kills. I remember and kills he was, and kills. He was auditioning for Mad TV, uh -huh. and he, I was like, what is wrong? He was like in the back of the comic store pacing. He goes, man, I got called back for this audition tomorrow, and I don't think this is gonna be funny. I got to do these sketches, and I'm uh -huh. like this. I go, Bobby, just be you. Right, right. You don't have to do no sketches. Right, right. Just be you. You are a sketch. Alone, you're yeah, good. Yeah. And he got the part. And he yeah. did say, like, saw him a couple years later. He's like, damn, that is exactly what you said. Hey, I'm not taking credit hey. for it, but I was like, dude, just be you. What are you nervous for? It's who he is. You know, he's the only Asian guy in the world that looks like, you know, he, he plays with ZZ Top with a, with a fucking shave. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you know, you talk about a rock and roll, just regular all-American Asian guy. You don't know it. You know, you yeah. don't know it. If How you know did you get not. in Living Color? Um, first of all, I turned it down. No. Mm -hmm. I turned it down not knowing what it was. Because when I got to Hollywood, it took me three years, but I made the apex of what a comic wants. You know, I had the top agents. Every, every, everybody wanted me in town. Um, is this from the contest in D.C.? No, this is from, from Killing at the Comedy Store. So in the main room. When you came out here, mm -hmm. I mean, you started in D.C., mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you just came out here with nothing? And no nothing. contacts? Nothing? Nope, no contacts. And a D Nissan Central with a glad bag in the, in the back with my clothes and a giant TV that looked like a fish tank, you know? Now, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're driving cross country, mm -hmm, Nissan Central, mm -hmm, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. What's going through your brain when you hit, like, Texas? <laughs> like, am I making the right decision? Oh, yeah. Especially Texas. Because it like, took like two, whole, three whole days to just get through that. You ain't lying. And I'm like, what am I doing? But the fire had been lit already, you know? Yeah. The fire had been lit. It was like, it was time to go and time to go for the gold. You know? Was Martin out here yet? He was already out here. Okay. Martin actually got a TV show. Local comic gets TV show in Hollywood. Yeah. You know, and I remember we were talking outside of a club, and he's going, man, yeah, I'm going to Hollywood. You know, um, what's happening? Remember the show? What's, what's happening, happening now? I remember right, he was right, the right, right. barback guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. got the part, and I'm like, damn, you got the part? You know, damn. Now, wow, that's crazy. I got on the public bus and went home, you know? And so I'm going out there, too. But I got there, got two jobs, did, the, did what we would do anyway, because we're schmoes. We know how to keep a job and a check and whatever. And it just started building up momentum, and, and, and my act spoke for itself. And eventually, I ended up in the main room with Eddie Murphy and um, Richard Pryor. Mm -hmm. And I was headlining with them. And it was one of Mitzi's little experiments. I wanted to kill her. Mitzi is the, the queen of um, the comedy store that breaks all comics. But her idea of making me tough was to make me 
pick my name out of a hat for three years. So I'm going to the comedy store killing, but I'm still like taking my name out of a hat. By year three, I'm playing the belly room, yeah. right? But I'm killing. And then I get a call one night from the guy who books the main room. He goes, Tommy, Mitzi's got you in the main room tonight. I'm like, cool. I mean, this weekend, Friday and Saturday. I'm like, cool, okay, cool. You know, by this time, agents were coming to see me and stuff. And um, she goes, it's, it's Richard Pryor and Eddie Murphy. I go, cool. So what do they want me to intro them? Because, you know, we host and we MC and all this. And you're I go, no, 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 no. You're on the show. Okay, I'm on the show. So so, 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 what time do I have to be there to open the show? They go, no, no. Friday, Eddie goes on for half an hour. You go on, on for half an hour. And um, Pryor goes on for half an hour. Saturday, Pryor goes on for half an hour. You go on and then Eddie goes on. You're in the middle. Yep. And I'm like... Jordan against Boston. I don't know sports fans here, you know, got 60 that night, still didn't make it to the playoffs, <laughs> but still had his own shoes by the end of the All-Star game. You know, it was like that kind of thing. Was so, it mm -hmm. when Eddie gets announced or Richard gets announced? I mean, like now I've 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 been there, I've seen right. I see Joe Joe Coy, I see <laughs> Russell Peters, I right, see Kevin. Right, like right, I go right. there and I'm like, right. I'm like, their biggest salvation is the introduction. Right. You, and it's not a knock their talent. You can't it's beat who that. They are. You it's can't who they beat are. the right. Oh! right, right. Like this. Where do you go from there? Right, right. And you know, when you when you first start, you gotta have, you know, you gotta have, you know, a, an MC that that tells the people who you are. So yeah, it's Tommy Davidson, man. He's played colleges, some colleges, man. <laughs> you, you might have seen him on. He was at right. the strip club. <laughs> right, right, right. 19 right. years old. As long as you might have seen him. Mike. You might have seen him on this, and you might have seen him on that, you know? And um, so I go on. I'm ready that night. You know, uh, um, I was about to go home. Eno enough, you know, auditioning, enough going around to all the clubs and them saying, you're not what we're looking for. Um, at this time, I'm considering myself the best at what I do because I spent three years watching the best. Mm -hmm. Charlie Fleischer. This is before they, they had movies. Charlie Fleischer, Tom Hanks. Uh, Michael Keaton, Whoopi, Adam Sandler. Tom Hanks is just doing uh, stand-up? Yeah, at the comedy store. Yeah, he got... Tom Hanks, uh, his first TV show was Bosom Buddies. Yeah. You know, so he got that. He was in his comedy store. Everybody go, oh, man, he got a TV series. Next thing you know, you know, Sleeping in Seattle or whatever that was. And he yeah, was Yeah, I forgot because he they played a stand-up. Yeah, that's line. what I'm saying. So, so here I am, finally at the apex, you know, and I killed that night. Everybody's believing in it. All the agents came from then on. I got all these offers, so here's what I have. Here's my future, right? All right, so I have all these offers. Disney offers me a holding deal mm -hmm. for two hundred thousand. You know, a holding deal is three years. What year is this? Two, this is this is um, eighty eight. So this that's seven hundred thousand. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's seven hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, you know, so 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 you know, you got that, you know, and um, we're going or you have a choice from CBS. You have an offer to be the opposite of the woman who's doing a sitcom that got picked up for two seasons, right? right, And it's called Murphy Brown. And I didn't know what it was, you know? And, um, and you also have a choice to star in Eddie Murphy's Paramount NBC show, Coming to America, as his little brother. That show didn't get picked up. No, it didn't yeah. get picked up, but it exists. It's out there. Wow. And I did it, and it flopped. And so when it flopped, you know, I'm not going back to... to, to uh, to uh, the sit, I'm not going back to the sitcom Murphy Brown because that's already on the air and it hit. Yeah. Right. I'm not going back to Disney because I turned down there two hundred thousand dollars. You know, Robert Townsend. I went to hear him to his house and I was like, man, I'm getting offered two hundred thousand dollars for this Disney deal. He said, well, if you think that's the last two hundred thousand dollars you're ever gonna make for the rest of your career, take it. You know. And I'm in my car going, well, I don't know about that. You know. It's Eddie, hard, Eddie, Eddie man. Murphy's the the thing. And yeah. then that didn't happen. So I'm like ready to go home. I'm living in Burbank. I'm eating minute rice and and, and sizzling. You remember those sizzling? Yeah, so like sizzling yeah, the, yeah, the steak, yeah, little yeah, steak. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm eating those, you know. And I'm like, I'm ready to pack my bags because I had a job as a, a as a, an assistant chef at the Ramada Inn. I had a little apartment, and not only a B210, I had a little Celica, 78 Celica that that my mother helped me get from the credit union, right? And so my agent calls, and there's this little show called In Living Color that Keenan's doing. On Fox. You know, and yeah, nobody knew Fox, Fox back then. Right. So I'm going, nah, you know what? I ain't trying to do all that. Whatever, 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 right? And um, we're in L.A., right? So this is the... Yeah, this yeah, happens every episode. That's, you know, 
That's what you get. It's, it's what it is. Yes, Los Angeles. So, 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 I, so I go and I tell the agent, I'm not going for that show because my manager told me, hey, man, let's just go back to the clubs. Let's grind and grind and grind and grind. Maybe, you know, we can get a special and, and do those things because that's where your strength is in stand-up. So we went back to the clubs. And my, my agent, thank God, called me back and said, hey, Tommy, he said, just audition. If you don't get it, you don't get it. If you get it, you got it, you know? So I go on an audition, and I flopped in the audition because I didn't know what improv was. I didn't know I was doing improv my whole life, but I didn't know what it was that day. So I sat down with Keenan and, and the producer, and they said, okay, you're a Puerto Rican cab driver, and you're drunk with some rich people in the back. And I, you know, where are you going to go? I didn't know how to put that together so fast. So, you know, when you don't get a part, people just kind of go, hey, man, thanks for coming, man. You know, your car is out front. Oh, my gosh. You know what I mean? And you're just walking out with that, that sweat, you know, and they're going, hey, man, hey, thanks for coming, You feel man. like you're never yeah. getting a job again. And you got to walk by all these people, you know, where you leave, you know. <laughs> and I left. And then I got a call. Keenan's doing a stand-up audition at the Laugh Factory. That's the second part of the audition. Yeah. Hey, let me ask mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Was the, the white lady, oh, what, what's her name? Kelly. Was, was she there? Yeah, she was at Kelly that audition. Caulfield? She was at that stand-up audition. She told Everybody me you know in the business now that has a show or that is worth anything was at that audition. John okay. Leguizamo, Martin, DL. All for the, In Living Color? All for In Living Color. Wow. Right? So Martin, 30, DL. Oh, wow. 30 of the hottest comics, Jim Carrey, I mean, are there for the stand-up thing. So I'm like, well, listen, when it comes to comedy, I dunk, I steal, you know, I, I, I hit my free throws. You know, I, I, I play this game. This is mine, yeah. right? 30 comics, I'm 30th. Holy shit. Right? I'm 30th. Oh, it's the worst. So I'm like, ah, man. So I go and stand on the curb like I always do because I don't watch other comics because I'm too absorbent. Yeah. You know, I might do somebody's you thing without even knowing too. it, man. You know, just like you're in the subject matter, you know? Plus, you don't want to hear anybody ripping. You're like, Right. Oh, you're ripping and you're like, oh, I don't know. I, I was going to do that bit, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you, know, you know what I mean? So I'm out like. I'm out in the, in, 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 in the street like Rocky, you know. Rocky, you can, yeah, I know, but what am I supposed to be when I get there? So, 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 you know, <laughs> and so. Um, uh, Just do Rocky uh, again yeah, one more yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, uh, I know, I, I know, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> yeah, but I think that you can be the champ, Rob. Well, why are you telling me that? <laughs> well, because I think that. Well, then why are you looking around my house, Mick? <laughs> if you think I'm such a champ, why are you looking around my house? My house stinks, Mick. The race stinks, Mick. I never asked you for no favors. You had me to fight, you fight, I'll fight the fight. You won't be there? I used to come to get another gym and couldn't even get a locker. Couldn't even get a locker, Mick. <laughs> now you want me to fight the fight. People ask me for my phone number. You don't think I know what's going on here? <laughs> well, I'm just gonna go out and say, you do that! <laughs> How many times did you see that <laughs> fucking movie? <laughs> It's word for you know, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, Mick is in going home and Rocky rethinks it and runs up behind him. But Mick thinks Rocky's there to kick his ass. So Mick kind of goes like this. And he goes, no, you know, uh, uh, you know, okay, all right. <laughs> you know, I only get one shot, right? Yeah, I only get one shot. You know. <laughs> Okay, go back to the What are we talking about? <laughs> no, but he gets intense because he's kind of looks around in his situation. He goes, well, what's wrong with my house, Mick? <laughs> Why you look around my house? My house stinks, Mick. The rain stinks, Mick! <laughs> I never asked you know. So it goes into this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, now I want to go home and watch Rocky. <laughs> I mean, because... Oh, yes. Tommy got one word wrong. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. He said... No, he because said... it was a beautiful scene. It's a beautiful scene because, <laughs> you know, he, he... Even Mick didn't believe him that much, but this was Mick's maybe ticket out. You know what I mean? And Mick is going, I just want you back at the gym. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, why you want me to go back there? You know, and Mick kind of looking around and go, yeah, why you looking at my house, Mick? My mouth stink. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, and then from there, but it's like, it's like, um, that's how I was outside, you know? So, so as the night's going, my act is getting smaller. You know, so he come out and goes, you know, Ricky Harris did your thing on the thing, man. You can't do that, man. You know, uh, such and such did your, your karate thing, man. You don't have that, man. You know, and I'm just outside just like, okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So I had probably about half of my act. 
we only got what? Maybe ten minutes, maybe seven minutes. So you gotta, you know. They had thirty people doing yeah, seven minutes. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. I'm doing the math. Yeah, yeah, that's two hundred and ten yeah. minutes. Yeah. That's sixty hour twenty. That's yeah. three and a half yeah. hours, yeah. bro. They're getting down. The place is packed. People everybody, can't laugh that long. Everybody, everybody's there. Everybody's there. It's a sexy night. Back then, all the agents used to go to the clubs. Right. You know, so you got you got. You know, CAA, CAA there, William Morris there. You got you got all the big managers. You got all the stars are there in this club. You know, for this show, mm -hmm. you got to understand. Keenan was a star mm -hmm. from "I'm Gonna Get You Sucker" and 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 um, right. uh, oh, uh, Hollywood movie. Shuffle oh. and, and and you know, Partners in Crime. They're famous. Mm -hmm. You know, him and Damon. Damon's on Saturday Night Live. Yeah, you know what I mean. Everybody's there. You know, Damon and Damon and Jim were in a movie together. That's right. You know, currently. You know what I mean? So uh -huh. it's like, it's hot. So they call me and, and, and like always, I just take a deep breath and, and um, stand-up isn't a team sport. You know, it's not a team sport. You know, once you're up there, it's you. Right. The good, the, thank God it ain't, you know, because we be gone. Yeah. You know, thank God that the, the, if it's for three minutes, two minutes, or for five minutes, the stage is all yours. No one's going to disturb that. Yeah. You see what I mean? So I go up and um, did my act, which is, which is a great act, but the comedy god shot me a lightning bolt, okay? A piece of improv came to me. Um, Mike Tyson was hot at the time, and Robin Givens was hot, and RoboCop was the number one movie, right? So I just go into this thing where Robin Givens is RoboCop, you know, but you know, Give me the watch now. You have five seconds to complain. Yeah, but I don't know what you mean. You have five seconds to... And I do this whole thing with, <laughs> with, with, with RoboCop and Tyson and kill. Scan an ovation. Run outside to my manager. Give him a hug. Keenan looks out the door, comes down to the corner. He says, man, I haven't told anybody yet, but you got it. When you get done with a set like that, mm -hmm. and I've always heard this from different mm -hmm. stand-ups, so I've always asked, like, what was that set that you felt like Oh mm -hmm, shit, mm -hmm. shit's about to change. Mm -hmm. Was that mm -hmm. the set? Yeah. He was like, oh shit. Yeah, because my whole life was on it though. Yeah. You know, I had all that stuff that happened. It was all gone. This was before or mm -hmm. after the special in DC? No, this was before the special in DC. Before the special. Okay. Yeah. So everything's gone. Everything I came to LA for is gone, right? The opportunity to be this big star. I'm with Eddie Murphy every day in the sitcom, you know? And it doesn't, you know, if you're with Eddie Murphy every day on your shit come, shouldn't it be successful? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then once it's over, is he going to call me? You know, it's just like, you know, you know? And, and, and you know, he's seen me kill at the comedy store, but it was over. You know, it was like, hey, man, hey, man, well, maybe we'll do something else together or something. You know what I mean? So it was over. So it was my shot. It was my shot. It was, it was, it was like my Bart Starr moment. You know, the Arctic tundra of Lambeau Field. The Dallas Cowboys and the Green Bay Packers go down to one standoff. You know, uh, Sheriff Bart Starr stands next to the center. A uh, 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 historical dialogue goes between Lombardi and Barton. You know, he goes to the sideline and he goes, you know, I think there's a, I think there's a, you know, they show that guy, what is it, kid? You know, steam coming out, you know, I think there's some room between the tackle and the, you know, hurry up and do it, let's get out of here. You know, just, yeah, you know, history was made in the, in the Green Bay Packers, you know. So it was like one, one, it was like one of them moments, you know, one of them Minnesota Viking moments, you know. Oh God, you like, Minnesota Vikings. Hold on. Like the Dolphins, who won against us in the Super Bowl, and they said in NFL films, the bull ring in the center of Larry Zonko's helmet served as a batter ram as he gave the purple people uh, uh, indigestion during the fourth quarter. And dun, 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 you know, anyway, I watched a lot of NFL <laughs> interviews. <laughs> you think? Yeah, yeah, I watched a lot of NFL films. Sorry. So then you get uh, you get the show. Uh -huh. When do you know, like, oh, shit, we got something special here? The second the cast walked in. But Jamie Foxx went on that original no, cast. No, he didn't come to... Jamie wasn't until, like, the second season or the beginning of the third season. I'm talking about the X-Men. You know, when, when Professor Xavier... David you know, on Greer. Yeah, when they Keenan. walked in. Yeah. When, when, I always they, heard, like, you know, is this true? I always heard mm -hmm. David on Greer was the funniest off-camera. Like, oh, in he between is. takes. Yeah, he, I mean, he's the funniest human being you ever want to see just walking around. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
I just made a post today on social yeah. media how uh-huh. Lunell is my favorite female, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and not her stand up, just right. being around just, her. Just being around her. I just yeah. like being around because she cracks me right, up. Right, right. And, and people I've talked to, it was only yeah. in color. They were you like, ever seen an yo. old black woman's pussy when now you did? You know. <laughs> you know oh, come on, man. Come on, you know, Gary. You, you said it. You said you wanted to see something. Then you see <laughs> Yeah, but that was a dead baby bird. You know what yeah. I mean? You know what I mean? It's like, ha! <laughs> I've like, heard that from him. He was like, yo. I think Jamie was going to tell me. He goes, yo. Like, he was oh, like, gosh, yo. She's... So we did on camera. He goes, man, if we could have bottled. Yeah. Some of the stuff David mm-hmm. Langer would say mm-hmm. in between takes or just mm-hmm. on set and the dressing room. He wouldn't world. stop. He was like relentless. He was like, David, come on, dude. And he, But you can't stop him. But it's you like, know? okay, so you got him, you and him. So we were talking about Juwan Man earlier. Mm-hmm. But then two roles that I think was funny that don't get talked about a lot was mm-hmm. I did Little Man with the Wayans. Okay. Oh, and David funny. Alan Greer. Oh, my God. I right. thought he had the funniest scene in the movie, mm-hmm. but he just was a little keyboard player. He right, was coming right. in as the wedding did. singer thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, yeah, fuck. Yeah. And it, yeah. it's kind of like it reminded right. me you in um, the second Ace Ventura. Okay. You came out the okay. bag. Yeah, yeah. There's certain yeah. movies I remember. I remember watching Jump in the Broom, mm-hmm. and I remember it was 15, 20 minutes mm-hmm. in. Then Mike Epps came on camera. Yeah, the, the, the you whole had a blockbuster card. What? You had a blockbuster card, dude. What? <laughs> I just yeah. watched a lot of movies yeah, yeah, and stand up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. I like going to theaters and watching movies. But I remember when Mike Epps right, came right, on the right. on the camera uh, on the on the screen. Everyone went, "Oh shit! Now shit's about to get real mm-hmm. funny, right?" Mm-hmm. And he wasn't even the funny guy in that movie. That wasn't his role. Mm-hmm. Same thing when I saw Ace Ventura too. Mm-hmm. The movie's going along, right? And you're watching, and Jim Carrey's funny and everything he does. When you came out that fucking bag, the mm-hmm. theater went, "Oh shit!" Because we don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, it's I was gonna like, get, "This you're gonna get sexy." <laughs> I was like, it's, it's, what is about to happen it's now? Getting ready to get sexy. It's getting ready to get sexy, <laughs> boy. And it was set up just like in Living Color. That scene was set up just like in Living Color. Steve Odekirk, a stand up from the main room, worked his way up. Bad, bad dude. One of our writers for In Living Color for years. Um, him and Jim knock on my trailer. You know, it's seven in the morning. You know, you're putting on makeup and stuff and trying to get your stuff together. And he goes, and Jim goes, hey man, hey man, you know, can you fit in this bag, man? You know, and I'm going, what man? Can you fit in this bag? You know, <laughs> and we go, I don't know, man. You know, you just, just try, just try it, try it. You just fit. All you gotta do is fit in it. You know, I'm like okay, man. You know, I get in this bag, man. I'm like, okay, man, I could fit in this bag, but I can't, I can't fit in here. But for like maybe five minutes at the most. That's all you need. That's all you need to do, man. That's all you need to do. You know, we're gonna reveal you. You turn around and we just, you put you on the ground and we just let you out of there, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> just let you out. <laughs> and if you look at it, you know, when they let me out, I came out in one leap. It, was, it wasn't like, it, it wasn't like, you know, I still, I, I went like, <laughs> I, I, jumped, I, jumped, I don't even know how I did it. You know, it was just like, So the big dude comes out and you're like, uh oh, you gotta fight that guy. And then I'm up to you. And he put me on the ground. And, and even the big guy's afraid to open it. You know, and, he, and, he, <laughs> and he finally opened it. <laughs> okay. I've had you know, a lot of oh guests on here, Tommy. Listen, right, right, I've had right, a lot right, of comedian right, guests. Right, right, right. Normally people just explain the scene. Right, right. You're the only one that actually reenacts it. Verbatim. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Hey. You know? It's a living, man. It's a living. Every you know? scene. Like, you remember everything hey, man. about it. Hey, everything. And that was like, it was the first time that I realized how famous Jim was, man. I'm telling you, man, because after we did that scene, right, you know, I had to be on a plane to the next place. Where'd you, um, where'd you film that? Uh, San Antonio. We did okay. in San Antonio in South Carolina. Uh, the, uh, the owner of the Astros has this big safari. You know, you know, white men like to kill extravagant animals for fun. Yeah, we do. I don't do. know if you do. Look, but, yeah, we but, do. Yeah, I don't know if you I don't do. know if it. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, so, but, but, but he's got this whole thing with tigers and stuff that he shoots for fun. And shit. So he's got this whole thing that looks like an African place that so we did it there naturally, right? So I'm going to leave. And, um, and he knows I got a plane. You know, your, your boys are going to take care of you. You know, you, hey, man, you get, man, your plane out. Move your plane. I said, I got to be out here in an hour, man. And we were doing one more scene where he's covering me with dirt. You know, the yeah. fight thing was a sequence, right? Yeah. You know, he's doing all this. So I'm beating his ass and don't mess with the dude and all this stuff. And then at the end, I'm burying him. <laughs> and the dude's going to, he's, you know, <laughs> the, the dirt's up to here and he can't breathe, right? So, so what happened was, you know, we were faking the dirt. You know, 
you know, and but there were guys on the on the on the other side with the pile of dirt with, with shovels that were like, you know, shoveling his yeah. dirt on Jim, you know, and and Jim Jim's trying to get the dirt up and he's trying to get ready and he's going, this is not going to happen, man. It's not going to happen, you know. The dirt is not going to get up here fast enough. And I was like, you know, and he's looking at me. This guy got to get out of here. And I'm going, yeah, yeah, but maybe I can stay a little longer, or whatever. He's like, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> right? He goes, bulldozer, man, bulldozer, right? Like you're ordering like. <laughs> Taco a, Bell. Yeah, like you're at the Waffle House. Can, <laughs> can I spackled, man? Not smattered, you know? What I mean? yeah. And like, sure enough, you look over the hill and there's. <laughs> I'm like, this dude is blowing up. Since <laughs> when do you order a bulldozer? <laughs> bulldozer. Yeah, he goes, bulldozer, man. You know, and I'm going, yeah, but, you know, and I'm trying to be cool. Yeah, man, you know, maybe we can reshoot. You know, he's going, nah, man, nah, man. Fuck that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bull, just yeah. one on set? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? I guess the guy at the ranch had one. I don't know, but he, but he, the guy ordered a bulldozer, and I left there going, damn, I think Jim is like... This is second Ace Ventura. Like, yeah. Because yeah. I, I hate to go back to Jimmy Fox. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Fox is the mm -hmm. one guy I've been able to talk in depth about and living color with. Mm -hmm. But he said... When he Jim got um, Ace Ventura, mm -hmm. he was still on In Living Color. Yeah, and he remember he told he I guess he Jamie said Jim came to he goes, hey man, I got this movie. I don't know if I'm gonna do it because I guess everybody had passed on it. Uh -huh. and it came to him like, yeah, and yeah, he was like, true. and Jamie's like, yeah, yeah. And Jamie said uh, when he saw a screening of it before it came out, uh -huh. he said he got up and went over to Jim and just shook his hand. And he said, said nice I don't know you. Yeah, like something like that, like. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get close to you after this movie comes out. And Jim's like, "What? What are you talking about?" Jamie goes, "The next time I saw him, right, he goes, right. Gary, he was on a bus right. on top of the bus riding down Sunset to the premiere. People just go nuts, and he's just right, waving." Right. Jamie's like, "Oh fuck!" He goes, "And yeah, I was yeah. one of the people yeah. waving." Right. Jamie's right. like, "Call myself." Hey, 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 Jim, Jim, get yeah. oh, Jamie! Right, <laughs> right, right. You know, but, but it it just speaks to like how much of an assassin we got to be. Assassins, we got to know our stuff, man. He was in with, uh, he would, me and him would have conversations. We'd be talking just general, you know, sports or whatever we're talking. And he was practicing the hairdo during our show. So he had the hair woman putting all this mousse in his hair while we were, you know, rehearsing and stuff like that, trying to get this, this horn right on his head. Yeah. You know, he's, he's doing that, talking to me. I'm going, man, this dude is crazy, man. You know, he's like, yeah. you know, yeah, we can't get the hair right. And I'm like, well, I mean, it's all right, what, whatever. And the hair ended up being the whole thing. You know, Jeez. with the discs yeah. and the horns, you know, the, it was ended up being the whole thing. Um, that that yeah. show, man, it Living Color, yeah, still holds up. Mm -hmm. I'll watch, I can watch dead. episodes reruns. Mm -hmm. Still holds up. It's dense too. It's like laugh, 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 laugh. Not laugh, and then you go, ah, uh, that's hilarious, and you say the words, you laugh. Yeah. Not ah, uh, you know how sometimes people go, ah, that that's funny. You know. I was Vera DeMilo for Halloween one year. Oh, were you really? Oh my God. The full on bikini. I don't want to see that. No, no. <laughs> I don't want, don't, oh, yeah, don't, I can't yeah, believe you did that. that. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. Trick or yeah. treat. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're, you're like, you know, the Buffalo Bill of, 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 of you know, you're like, like the Buffalo Bill of Vera, Vera De Milo. You know, he puts the lotion inside the bat. You're, yeah. you're, you're both. <laughs> Put the dog in the basket. Yeah, yeah, you're both at one time, you know. Vera De Milo. <laughs> Put, the, Put the fucking lotion in the basket. You know, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, Silence of the Lamb. The guy, yeah. the girl was in the well. Yeah, fuck yeah, me. The, yeah. Fuck me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it took me forever to watch the movie going, much. how do you, how do you right, lose his right, cock? Right, right, right. <laughs> right. So we, we watch too many movies. Yeah. But that's good, though. <laughs> that's good. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's what we do. Yeah. Okay, let's, now let's fast forward. Uh -huh. Since we talk about mm -hmm. Enemy Color so much. Mm -hmm. Now, you were a part mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. first Shaq All-Star Comedy Jam. Yeah. Which I think mm -hmm. came at a time. You couldn't pick a better timing mm -hmm. for Code Black and Jeff Clanagan and all those guys yeah. to put out that Shaq thing because yeah. Comic View just went away. Yeah. Def Jam was mm -hmm. gone. Mm -hmm. And there really was a void mm -hmm. of like an ensemble comedy show. Mm -hmm. People were still getting specials. We weren't getting a lot of black yeah, guys getting you know, specials. You know, yeah. So yeah. when I, I remember it's 2009, I think, 10? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's 2009. Mm -hmm. I remember yeah. watching it, and mm -hmm. I'm going, first I was like, fuck, why didn't nobody call me? Mm -hmm. Of course, <laughs> of course, of course. Because uh, Chris Spencer's writing, you know, he's there, you know, all the people that you know are there, and it's just like, that's, that, you know, 
That happens with a bus that goes by. You know? Yeah. Why were not in that damn movie, man? I know, I know. But you say that I, like I, was, I, mean, I, 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 I thought man, I wanted to be Black Panther, man, back in like yeah. the 80s, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, you know. You know but I don't look at it. And mean it. You know what I mean? But I don't look at it like when I right, saw like right. why not? I was like, I hope right. they do it again. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I, when I saw it, I go, right. this wasn't promoted like Kevin mm-hmm. Hart, Tommy Davis, and D-Ray Davis. It was promoted Shaq, also our comedy yeah. jam. Yeah. And then we were shocked every time somebody came out. That's right. Like, oh, That's oh, right. Oh. It wasn't like it was marqueed with the comics. Yeah. Because yeah. I called my agent mm-hmm. and I said, uh, yo, what's up with this Shaq shit? Mm-hmm. And I go, what do you mean? I go, how do I get in front of people? that? Because mm-hmm. all the comics What they me. say, what is, Shaq, what is the Shaq thing? Yeah. They knew. Okay. But I was like this, because my thing was this. Mm-hmm. It was always all the, just like, you know, all the comics know all the comics, mm-hmm. but it doesn't matter. I need, to, I need to get Cole Black to get to know me. So Hey, man, it's the mafia, baby. So You're once a, I... Uh, uh-huh. Mike Epps uh-huh. happened to be I, I happened to be open for him in Houston, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and right after I got done with the show, mm-hmm. his guys called, "Hey, we're doing uh, this Mike Epps live from the mm-hmm. Nokia, which was the same people doing the Shaq All Star mm-hmm, Jam." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "When?" It was like Friday. This is this is like Sunday. They're calling me. Okay, like okay, I'm okay. I'm in Columbia at the Comedy House. They're like, yeah. "You want to do it or not?" I want to hear this. Yeah, twenty five hundred bucks, mm-hmm. all in, mm-hmm. no hotel, no flight. I was right. like, "This is is." Co Black gonna be there in the clan again. You tell me the powers of beer are gonna be there. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I go. Yeah, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. So I had to cancel mm-hmm. on a week's notice. Mm-hmm. I mean, after hotel, mm-hmm. flight, everything else, I'm gonna make $100, mm-hmm. agent, mm-hmm. IRS. Yep. Yep. Uh, but I got in front of them, and that's what got me on mm-hmm. that, that crew, so to speak, the mm-hmm. Shaq stuff. Mm-hmm. Did you know when you filmed it? Because I think that was the catalyst mm-hmm. that took Kevin like. Pew. Yeah, it is. That was, it that is. was the first. I didn't First know thing. and I didn't care. I just knew that um, I knew Shaq as an old friend when he first moved to L.A. He called mm-hmm. me and said, you think I should move to L.A.? I said, if they put the right coaches around you, this and the other thing, you get the right people around you in L.A., well, I say, all right, man. You know? and, and he decided to go there, but I, I performed first in front of his family and everything when he was with Orlando and all this stuff. So I did it for him, not knowing really what it was. Yeah. You know, I just was showing up for that comedy because I had a special that was coming out. Mm-hmm. So I said, this would be good to promote the special, blah, 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 this, that, and the other thing. Just get my face out there. I haven't done stand-up in front of a lot of people. I've been doing movies and all this stuff. So I went and I did it. You know, and and um, that was me from from my standpoint. That's how it was done. I didn't even know Kevin. I had never seen Kevin. I don't think I've seen Kevin ever until that night. And I still didn't see him even then. I didn't even know he was on that. I was, did my show and left. Was it? Yeah. Because I, I, I heard mm-hmm. Kings of Comedy... I heard um, Cedric close when it aired. Mm-hmm. Bernie went last. They flipped mm-hmm. it when it aired. Mm-hmm. Was mm-hmm. the order the order for that I first don't e- one? I don't even know because I was just, I was, I was like, they called me for it and I was like, damn, that's going to be a killer in Phoenix too. Mm-hmm. You know, that's just, a, a, that's just a, 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 it's like an all-star game in NBA. I'm like, you know, yeah, yeah I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there to do that, you know? And, um, you know, I did it. I had a great set, and I had a special coming out right after that. Yeah. Supposedly. But what happened was the manager at the time stole the money, blah, 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 this, that, and the other thing. The special never came out. I actually ended up with a lawsuit, Comedy Central, and all this crazy stuff. This was your Comedy Central special? Yeah. You know, so it didn't happen. My special didn't happen after that. My special didn't happen. So, you know, it it, it, it was like, um, it was another opportunity for me to perform, but I was one of the original... Kings of Comedy, too. Were you? But it was just a tour, and it wasn't a show yet. Yeah. So I was out there, and so when it came to the show, and Go Black, and you know, we got this, you know, there's a show, man. You know, we're going to be doing, you know, Kings of Comedy, man. And it's going to be, man, you know, world tour. We're going to tour in and all that stuff, man. You know, and I was like, okay, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah but what's happening, man? It's, 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 it's just, just good. It's just going to be um, Bernie, you know, Cedric, DL, and um, they decided not to go with you, man. You know, I was like, <laughs> really? I was like, all right, man, damn. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, man. Like, that's cool. That's, I mean, that's cool. You know, so I started calling myself the Prince of Comedy. Because uh-huh. I ended up on with the King of Comedy, Kings of Comedy. Yeah. You know, but, eh, I could see why. You know, I, I dressed different, you know. Oh, you weren't in a suit and tie? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I know, can't see you I in a suit. different, you know, you know. I can't see you in a yeah, suit, like, you know, every night. Yeah, I mean, Kings of Comedy it was cool, but, you know. Yeah. You know, you look at them how they dress. You go, is this yeah. is, is this a sermon? You know, it's, it's like you know, everybody is like you know, with the hat and the, and the whole. Every comic's got mm-hmm. their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you 
Could, well, I can't say that lately. Uh-huh. I've been seeing Chappelle in suits a lot. Before, really? I, I never. I see him all the time in pictures all, okay. all over. He's got suits on. Right. And I was like, oh, not for his stand-up right. specials. <laughs> But I've seen him in suits. I'm like, why is he always wearing suits now? <laughs> yeah, I never looked at Chappelle yeah, like a suit guy. Yeah. I can't After see. After that last act, he might be in a jetpack next yeah. time you yeah. see him. <laughs> I can't see. He might just be at the club hovering. <laughs> you know, I don't know when I got to get out of here. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just, I can't, I can't see Steve. Dave, in you a know sweatsuit. what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't uh, see Steve like in a sweatsuit. Right. On no, stage. no, they, I just can't. No, it just, you know, you know, when it comes to comedy, you know, it's, it's like, you know, you got to, you know, you, you get in where you fit in. Mm-hmm. You know, this is not one of those businesses where you got to do one thing or the other. You know, you believe in your abilities and you go head on. You know, it, it's kind of like the NFL in a way. You know, it's, the, it's, it's like free agency, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, Vaughn Miller, you know, after that Super Bowl was unbelievable, untouchable, $100 million man the next year. You know, got injured, played a couple of seasons and was like, you were thinking, oh, man, maybe... You know, but then he goes to another team, and he's got the Lombardi. Fuck you know, that team. We got to, we got to keep. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, that's that's right. That's right. You talking about this game? That's right. Yeah, I'm talking, talking about this yeah, that game. game. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. I'm Tommy. also. I'm talking about the San Francisco game, and I'm talking about the you the know. two San Francisco games. Yeah. So so yeah, but you got but you. What? Yeah, you're right. I mean. Thanks, yeah. Tommy. Hey man. Hey. Yeah. Thanks for coming on. What the you know, fuck hey, have you on hey, for? I can't say one thing though. Bring up bad shit. No, I can't say one thing. I haven't gone to one single military base in the world that the number one sticker that I saw, you know, or the number one, like, jersey I saw was the Bengals, man. Really? It's crazy. You know why? Yeah, because... The NFL ahead. just probably sends them right. off, like, <laughs> what's, what's not selling? <laughs> They'll send some Bengals hey, shit. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Right, right, right. You, we need some troops. Just get them out of Cincinnati. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> They'll go. Detroit Lions, right, right. some Bengals shit. Right. Don't, not right, the Barry right, Sanders. Right, right. Not the Barry Sanders. Right. We're, 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 you know, we're short 40,000 troops. Nah. Send the guys from Cincinnati, man. They're not doing nothing. Not anymore. You know what I mean? That's about to change. Hey, man. Hey. I saw it. Burrow's about to be the number one jersey sold listen, next listen, year. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I'm not, I'm not pledging allegiance to the squad. I love football. Right. You know, and, clearly. And, and when I when I saw this game, yeah, clearly. I mean, the Vikings are my squad. I, you know, We're still trying to figure you know, out how. Well, I mean, from hey, DC? From DC. Okay, here it is. DC, all black city, right? All black defense, you know? Purple people leader, you know? Back then, you know, a lot of black guys weren't playing those defensive positions that they're playing now. So we had an all black defense, you know, we had Francis Asbury Tarkenton at the helm. Um, he was from Washington, D.C., believe it or not, mm. you know? And um, that's why they call him Fran the Scram, because he used to scramble in the alleys in D.C. when he was a kid, you know? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, Fr- Fran the Scram. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> so, and they always won. Except the Super Bowl. Yeah, they always won. They won the NFC. I think they won the NFC Championship just about as much as the Patriots won the AFC Championship. Somewhere, Back somewhere then. in there. Yeah. Yeah. So they always won. And it wasn't in your neighborhood. It wasn't about really the NFL. It was about the school bus and your boys and yeah. who was winning. That's right. Right? It's like, you know, yeah, but we won. No. You know? So so Monday night football, we won all the Monday night footballs usually. But you got to realize, you know? mm-hmm. if you're on Monday night, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's a different time. They're not internet. There's right. an NFL network. Yeah, it's, it's who it's, are they showing right, on TV. Right. And it's nighttime. If you get a Monday night football, you're yeah. the game of the week. That's the game. So if you won Monday Night Football, you were the talk of the town in, in, in your school. You know, it's just period. And plus, I'm a loyalist when it comes to my team. A lot of people have switched teams. You know, I don't. They go, they go I, I, can, I can clearly Bang. see that. Bang. I can, I can Bang. Clear, I can, I can. We usually have more stuff. Yeah, I can clearly see that. If you see someone in a Lions hat or someone in a, in a Bengals hat, you know that they're a fan. Look at my screen. You know what I mean? Saver. Yeah. Yeah. You, gotta be you on know it. that they're a fan. You know? But the NFL goes in cycles. There wasn't a time you'd be caught alive with a San Francisco 49ers shirt or nothing. Or a Patriot shirt. Like, who's the white guy with the football? You know, what is that? What is a Patriot? You know what I mean? It's like, now, what can you do? I remember going 2000, mm-hmm. maybe 2001. Mm-hmm. Going to a Patriots Browns game. Mm-hmm. It was before. So Brady's probably a rookie, wasn't playing yet. Mm-hmm. I remember going to that game, 
And I left that game going, what? That was the most depressing. Who? Why was I there? I was going, these teams are never good. Even when they are, they're only good for a year, and then they're, they suck afterwards. Mm-hmm. Little did I know the next year Brady mm-hmm. comes in. Hey. Everything changed. That's how I feel about your boy. Burrow. That's how I feel about him. You know, I mean, you know, hey, we'll see. But he shows that kind of, he you shows know, was, that kind of, like he's kind of scary. Well, I talked I talk to Andre Johnson, you know, the, the old wide receiver for the uh, Texans. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Beast. He, said, he said something nobody has brought up in interviews. They mm-hmm. said, he was like, a lot of these white quarterbacks mm-hmm. that are number one, number two high draft mm-hmm. picks, he said, you know, they got options. They, mm-hmm. That's why Andrew Luck stopped playing. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. they got come from two-parent homes and money. Mm-hmm. Now, Joe Burrow comes from a two-parent home. Dad was a coach. Mm-hmm. But where he was raised, mm-hmm. nothing but poverty. It's, mm-hmm. it's the brokest of broke counties in Ohio. And he goes, so his dog's a little different. Mm-hmm. Nobody was saying you could be a lawyer or doctor right. growing up. They're like, if you want to get out, you got to play football. All right, so that's I, all I, he's got. Can I tell you the audience secret really quick? Yeah. All the white people in Cincinnati are broke. No, they're not. All the white people are not broke. Larry Flint, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> he's from Cincinnati. <laughs> We got a lot of like low key. Don't know if it's George Clooney. His dad yeah, was the you're newscaster. Right, you're right, you're right. He Jerry Springer was the mayor. And there's a lot of a lot of moonshiners that come from the, a lot of them, but they're just not known for it. That's all. They're not known for it. You know, what rich white people? Yeah, yeah it's kind of like Buffalo. But he's not from. He's from Athens, no. which is like two hours away. Okay, okay, but it's kind of like Buffalo. It's kind of like Eight Mile. We don't have a waterfall like Buffalo. That's Niagara Falls. You never and and you're never gonna win. What? You're never going to win against a city Cincinnati Reds fan and a Bengal fan. You'll never win the argument because they're like New York Knicks fans and Jets fans. They always think they're going to win the championship no matter what. And we were so close this year. You hear it? We were so fucking You hear that? Close. But sports has proven that hell freezes over. Because if you could have told me, <laughs> if you could have told me that the New Orleans Saints were going to win a Super Bowl, you couldn't have told me that in a million years. But look what happened. They got the right quarterback. That's right. They were they were the joke till Drew Brees got there. That's right. Nobody looked at them. That's right. And nobody looked at Drew. No, Drew was, remember it was a Dante Culpepper or Drew Brees was the two big free agents. And Dante right. went to Miami. Right. And Drew went to New Orleans from San Diego. That's right. Because Drew got the big injury. He taught Rivers the whole playbook. Yeah. He went down to New Orleans. New Orleans was the only one that was going to take him. Yeah. He went down there. He healed up. You know, they had the flood. And here it came. You know what I mean? And it, it, it can happen, you know? It can happen, you know? Um, cold never bothered me anyway. Unless you're white. You know, okay, so go ahead. What? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Because that's a white person song, you know? I don't listen to white people music. I know. <laughs> I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking. Cold? You're an you're an aberration. You're not. What are you? What are you talking about? What? I'm not talking about Who you. Who sings that? <laughs> well, I mean, you never see a black person going. You know, cold never bother me anyway. What you know, song you know, is it? Because there'd be two different. There'd be two different. It's from the movie Frozen. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, and the black version would be called No, We Freezing. Okay, I didn't. I'm glad it's I the comedy, the man, too. I haven't seen that movie. Okay. You, I'd be one of the bookers. I told you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't no, go there looking told, color. I told you he wasn't white. <laughs> I told I, you that. I told you I that, right? The judges, you wouldn't have gone on living color. I'd be like this. <laughs> what fucking, where did the white anyway come from? I'd be like this, look. <laughs> Bring DL back. Bring DL Hughley back in. <laughs> no, when you were talking about, and I got we got sidetracked, obviously, because the Rocky impersonation just crushed me, but... I was talking to Kelly Schofield about okay, that. Okay, 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 okay. We did an a independent movie that I don't think a lot of people saw, but I, she played Test my, me, test me. Uh, it was called High, uh, Highway 420. Okay. It was me, okay. Duval, Kelly, Dougie, uh, Devin the Dude. Anyways. Not, was that not called, was it, was it, was it Miss Norman um, Left Turn? <laughs> No. no. Okay. I don't know what it is. Right. The budget was not No, was it most... Uh, Miss Nomer? Me and Kelly Shell Was it Miss Nomer not a uh, uh, wrong turn? No. no that was a joke. Bad. Wrong turn, was it? <laughs> it was a horror movie about here, Billy. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see you Wrong Turn? You watched more movies Did than you me. you see Wrong Turn? No, haven't oh, seen it. Oh, come on. You see Hillbilly Elegy? I'm not the only one. Anybody see Wrong Turn? No. You did not see Wrong Turn, bro. Stop. 
We'll see it. Look it up. Look it up. Look wrong up turn. Wrong turn. Wrong turn. I got a crack They squad weren't zombies. Here. They were just like deliverance. Really poor white people that look like zombies. Deliverance. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like Deliverance meets Walking Dead meets like. Did you guys pull it up? The Beverly Hillbillies. Yeah. Wrong turn, man. Oh wow. Okay. That they're not a ghouls. Terrible makeup job. No, they're not ghouls at all. What are they? They're just really poor white people. That's what they look. So they that's expect they me to believe. Looking. That's how they the makeup got, people. That's how they and got the director. Them that's how they got them looking. That's how stereotypes are born, people. That's the wrong movie. That's why I didn't okay. see it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to Kelly about... I'll just okay, go right okay. back. Right, right, right. I was talking to Kelly about, about that movie. same... About, let's get back to my movie now. Shit. You I was know. talking about that same uh -huh. uh, audition. That's what's crazy. Right, right. Is when you brought up the 30 people, she said she told Keenan, she goes, Keenan, I don't do stand-up. I don't know stand-up. Right, she goes, right. you ain't got to. You just got to improv some stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I don't know what she did. She goes, but I left there. She said she left there thinking, God, mm -hmm. I'm never going to call. Mm -hmm. And Keenan called her. She got hey, on it. And then look now, you know. And it, but you, so. when you said mm -hmm. D.L., mm -hmm. Martin, all that stuff, it reminded me of this show mm -hmm. called Lyris Lounge on MTV. Okay. I remember that. So, Lyricist Lounge. Lyricist Lounge. Yeah, and it was just like, it, it was dope. It was like hip-hop mixed was with. It dope, yeah. It was, it was Nick Cannon then. Before Nick Cannon. Kind of, yeah. But Trace Ellis Ross was on the show. And a bunch of people you probably didn't see. What? What just happened? No, he just, he just said, yeah. Lunch. Oh, okay, yeah. thanks. He, he, he just went lunch. Oh, sorry. He went lunch. So, you know what I mean? No, we're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. yeah. No, no, no. I run the, this. The sign, the, sign, the sign read, lunch for crew, man. Yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. <laughs> we're starving. Yeah. Right. We're fucking right. starving, no, bro. Just, no, I just said that. Official lunch for right. crew, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're, at right. the, we're getting right. the light from the side right. of the stage. Right, right, right. right. And Chick-fil-A, please. Come on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Corey Holcomb's waiting to go yeah. up. Yeah, the sign, the sign read, Chick-fil-A for, 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 for crew, please. Postmates. Not no bullshit. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Oh. Lyricist Lounge. Okay, right. I remember right. getting a callback for that. Mm -hmm. and uh, Dope show, too. I remember I sat there, and at the call, it, it was just an open casting call. Okay, okay. But the last callback, there was two of them. The mm -hmm. last one, Anthony Anderson was on it, and Mike Epps was on it, and I was on it. Mm -hmm. And none of us got on the show. Uh, yeah, of course. And I, it was funny. That's why there was levels to auditions, mm -hmm. because... Me and Mike were sitting there just Go ahead. You're the last bullshitting. standing. You're the last standing. Yeah. Fucking, we're playing a, yeah. a angry. The the scene was an angry Easter Bunny. Mm -hmm. He feel like he doesn't get his right. just due. Right. right. Anthony walked in in a pink bunny outfit, mm -hmm. and literally when he walked in, I go, "Oh, there's levels to mm -hmm. this audition and shit." Oh, yeah. I said, "This motherfucker came in with the yeah. bunny outfit." And I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And had somebody read with him in the hallway. Yeah. Brought his boy. Because it was a fucking monologue right, we had right, to memorize. Right. And hold on, go ahead. And go I was ahead. just like, uh -huh. oh, fuck. Uh -huh. And I, had to, I remember I went right after Anthony. I go, I'm fucked, right. dude. No bunny outfit. I could hear right. him killing. And right. he, he didn't get it. Neither right. of us got right, it. Right, right, I know. I, I heard know. him killing through the little glass. I said, why is there a glass? Is there nothing worse right. than hearing the guy in front of you audition? I mean, it, it's the worst. What are you going to do? Unless they fuck it's up. Like, I've heard guys like, fuck man, up too. Hey, man, let me tell you something. I, I, I auditioned for The Different World, and it came down to me, Kadeem Hardison, and uh, uh, Alphonse Ribeiro. This is before, before. God the, damn. Yeah, it was before. Um, it was before. Fresh um, Prince. Fresh Prince, you know? So the next day, me and Kadeem come back. So we're the, the sole survivors. So I go in and do my shtick, you know, and then I come out, you know, and then he goes in and does his shtick, and then he comes out. And then I go in and do my shtick, and then I come out, and he's walking towards the room to go and do his shtick, and everybody's laughing and clapping in front of me, going, man, you got in there, hugging him, and the door closes slowly, you know? And I'm like, I guess I don't got the part. Yeah, that's the worst feeling. Right. So now, I do something at auditions, and I ain't never gonna stop. You know, if I ever audition in, in a room full of people where there's a lot of people, you know, and I go in and they close the door. I always come in and go, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> got it. You know what I mean? All the way out the hall. Yeah. Got it, man. Woo! No, but you got to get on your phone. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Lisa, they're going to be right. calling you. <laughs> right. We got the it. The whole way out the building, everybody's cracking up. The whole staff is cracking up because it's like, you know what? Hey, I don't got it. Yeah. yeah. Bill Ingevall did it. that. Yeah, I, I don't one time. got it. He walked out and did mm -hmm. exactly what you, he must yeah, have saw you do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah.
Oh, yeah? He, he was shutting he the door. Do he saw me do it. He was like this. Everybody shut. bites my shit. <laughs> you know? He shut the door, and there's like five of us in the hallway. Right, right. And he goes, all right, so when do we start? Okay, right, I'll, right. Exactly. I'll wait for your call. Don't worry about it. Appreciate you guys. Right, I right. walked in it's like, a yeah. is he serious right now? It's a tense situation, man. I, I went to what's your audition. What's your worst biggest, what's your worst nightmare audition? Uh, I went to, um, what's the chick? Penelope Cruz. When she got to town, she was the hottest actress. Everybody wanted to work with her. This, so my agent calls me, man, there's a Penelope Cruz, Cruz movie, man, where there's this, um, her best friend, you know, is a cross-dresser or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, we think this is great. You know, this could say, you know, so, so, you know, I, you know, I ain't never put that stuff on before. So I'm like, the key is to try to really look like a woman. So I go to Mac. <laughs> <laughs> You I get the right way. I mean, I'm like, I'm a banging ass female. You know what I mean? <laughs> right? Never do this if you're not really that, right? So so I go there and, you know, they go, you know, hey, thank you. You know, thanks for coming, man. And I realize, hey, I got to get home this way. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> right? You never know how much attention that you get from men when you are looking like a woman man it's a very it's like i'm in the car like just going like you know light change man change because you know dudes are just like you know <laughs> you know what i mean i'm just oh my god let me get out of this it was the worst most humiliating one of the most humiliating experiences i ever went through and i said you know what i ain't never doing that again i'm not you know i'm going in there as me you know and and they'll take me or leave me but i'm not letting somebody tell me no and have to go home Dressed like this. That made it even double worse. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? And I went for it. I can't believe I mean, the Mac. I did the whole thing. <clears throat> I had the right shoe. I mean, I was like, it was like, I was like, I ain't never doing that again. You know, until the part comes up. And, you know, I think that. I'm trying to think. I'm, trying, I'm really trying to think where we met mm -hmm. Matt. I can't really remember either, man. I remember 20 years ago, I had a mm -hmm. holding deal with Quincy Jones. And we were leaving Fox, and you was walking mm -hmm, in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then me and Quincy was talking, and you came up and just hugged Quincy, and you had you had the cornrows at the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you just, you just big, hey, Quincy. And he was like this, hey, man, when are we going to work together? When are we going to work together, Quincy? And the whole time I'm going, motherfucker, if you don't shut the fuck up, <laughs> we, we pitching a show right now. <laughs> you know, Quincy's all diplomatic. Hey, yeah. man, just yeah, call like, me, man. Get away from me. You know what I mean? Hey, away. man, just call you know, me, baby. Like, Can't you see you're yeah. trying to go to jail? Just we are pitching We're in five friends. minutes. Can't you see you're trying to go to jail? Yeah. <laughs> you're trying to jail already. Good yeah. God. Yeah. Shut a well, you bitch. Know, yeah, yeah. Shut a well. <laughs> you know, you see you're trying to go to jail from Singleberry. You know, but Quincy talked to you for like 10 minutes. I'm sitting there going, God oh, man, damn yeah. it. Yeah. We're already pitching, bro. I know. Too late. I know. That was the same day. It's weird how you Pico. met everything. Pico Lot. No, this is the Fox. Is that what it is? Century City? Or is it? Yeah, yeah. Fox Pico Lot. Yeah, the big yeah. Pico Lot. Yeah. It's weird. Uh, two people I remember about that day mm -hmm. we pitched the Fox mm -hmm. was you came up. No, we just got done pitching. Oh, we were leaving. That's pretty cool. I don't even remember that. We were leaving, and you was walking mm -hmm. in. And it's 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 mm -hmm. it wasn't pot season. It was pitching season. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Probably pitching a show at some Yeah, point. yeah, yeah. Yeah. But what I remember was that wrestler China. Remember her? Yeah. And passed away. Yeah, she mm -hmm. she was in the lobby, mm -hmm. and me and Quincy are sitting there, and she was sitting there, and mm -hmm. she wouldn't make eye contact, she wouldn't look at us or nothing, and, and I mean she was like the biggest WWE star at the time, mm -hmm. and I just remember hurt. like trying to hurt start feelings. a conversation. Hurt feelings. She would not talk to yeah, us. Hurt feelings. She yeah. was just like I mean when I say yeah, she made it obvious. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to anybody right now. Yeah. It, it hurts. Was, it hurts. Yeah, and I'm just sitting there going, I just. Yeah. I don't want a picture or nothing, yeah. but I just want to yeah. talk. Jennifer Lopez does that to me to this day. Just look straight ahead? Yeah, it's just like, you know, if I see her, she's just like... Why? Why? You know, I don't know. You know, you know... No, you know. You, no, I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, wish I, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. No, no, you I know. I wish I knew like that, you, you know? know. But no, no, I don't know. It's, it's just like, that's where she's at. People... You know, people go into the transformations and that's what they need to do to feel comfortable or whatever, you know? OJ did it to me. You know, Straight OJ ahead. did it to me before the... Before the I, glove? Can I tell you something? Listen to this. OJ, and uh, I'll tell you what Jamie said, okay? So I come from this Kansas City Chief game because Derek Thomas was my best friend, so I was there every Sunday. I was at playoff games. That's my man, right? 
So, you know, OJ used to be one of the top anchors yeah. at the games. So I come back from the game, and me and my buddy, we saw OJ. And we were like, hey, man, what's up? And he didn't even look at us. He just was like, you know, you know, he might as well say, man, get the fuck out of my way. Mm -hmm. And I just kept on walking. I'm like, man, that dude is a jerk. Maybe a lot on his mind. But... What'd you say? Maybe a lot on his mind. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe he was making, maybe he was making certain plans. I'm like this. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> Did he have plate. a glove on at the time? You know, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, was he trying on a glove? You know, no. <laughs> so, and I swear to you, that woman that he was with was so fine. Nicole? E e yep that every guy in the whole stadium was watching her, man. She was that bad. She, like, stopped 50,000, 60,000, you know, 30,000 guys, 40,000 guys in their tracks, man. So I came and I told Jamie that. I said, man, this girl, man, she, she I'm telling you, she, she knocked the whole stadium down. And Jamie looked at me, he said, he killed that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny and not funny. We should be laughing about it, but it's so funny. No, but I'm saying that was his conclusion. You yeah, know what I mean? That like, fine? yeah, she that fine. He said he killed that bitch. You know, <laughs> while holding a honey bun and a giant grape soda. Jamie, you know? oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Jamie told me a story about you, know, you uh -huh, where he uh -huh, said, uh, uh -huh. he said right, right when it got on in living color, right, right. he said because I, I told him. We went out, we were going out so much, the like the summer of 98, because I did that movie Held Up him? with them. Yeah, we were hanging out. You all right? Yeah, I, I lived a Hollywood life okay, okay, for a okay. summer. You all right? All right. So I remember he, uh, everywhere we went though, like I, every time we go to nightclubs, I, was, I hung out with him for a summer mm -hmm. basically. And I just told him, I said, can I, can I tell you something? Don't mm -hmm. tell you the wrong way. He goes, yeah, I go, I fucking hate being an entourage. Mm -hmm. He goes, what do you mean? I go, I just, maybe it's the ego, but I know I'm funny. I know one day I'm going to get famous. I was saying this all right, to him. I right, said, right. I hate just being disregarded. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it, I said, it bothers me because right, I'm right. sitting there going, well, fuck, I'm funny too. Right, right, right. So Jamie goes. This is related to the chicks, man. Jamie said, yeah, for women. Right, right, right. And he goes, dude, he goes, mm -hmm. let me tell you something. When I first got on In Living Color, he goes, everywhere we went, I was hanging out with Tommy. Mm -hmm. He goes, and everybody was like, because Tommy's already on. Mm -hmm. He goes, and everybody's like, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. And Jamie would just be like, in the background, like, Listen, I'm I'm gonna be on the show too. Uh, you want to say hi to me? I'm gonna show too. He goes, dude. He goes, it was the worst because they would literally. He said, and I, I don't know who it was, uh -huh, uh -huh. but you introduced him to somebody famous. Uh -huh. It was somebody famous at the time, like somebody like downtown Julie Brown from MTV. Okay, 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 I'm just throwing okay. him out there. Right, 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 he goes, hey, this right. is Jamie. She goes, <laughs> anyways, Tommy. Dude, dude. Ah. Jamie said he felt so like just disregarded, like whatever. Right, anyways, right, I'm right. talking to Tommy. Right, right. He right. said, I get it. Uh -huh. I get it. It plays out on both sides, too. It plays out on both sides. I saw, I went to uh, the premiere of um, State of Jones. Matthew, the Matthew McConaughey yeah, 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 movie? Yeah, yeah, You know, and the star of the movie, the beautiful African-American girl. We were all on the red carpet together, you know? And um, I'm doing my interviews for the, you know, I'm not in the movie, but I'm there as a celebrity or whatever. And I walk up to her on the carpet and say, I mean, you did such a great job on this movie, man. You were excellent. Can I take a picture with you? And she would, no. You know, I was like, I was like, I was like, uh, I was like um, the guy that asked Bruce Lee to be in. To, we told you to be in uniform in 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 a, in a, in a, the dragon. Yeah. He comes down, and, you know, you know, and the guy with the cut comes up to Bruce Lee, and yeah. Bruce Lee's doing it, and he goes, "You got to be in uniform." He goes outside, outside, <laughs> right? <laughs> so then, by the time he shows up, no, he's, he's the only ones in all black, you know. And everybody else says, hur, hur. they're going yellow, and the other one's got a white, you know, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? And he goes, and, and he's got on the all black, and one guy goes up to him and goes, I thought we told you to come in uniform. And Bruce Lee looks at him, and he goes, <laughs> You know, that's how I was when <laughs> she told me that. She's like, No, I went, That's the worst when you get you like, know, I'm like, Really now? Because you feel like you're building a rapport. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it's just shot down. Right. I just wanted to do a round off. Okay, like, so you're one, a sports fan. One clean round off. Bam. Not, not with, story with, top. With the knee out. Huh? Story top. Let me tell you who said no to me through a picture, and I picked up my face off the ground. So I do this uh, charity. Event. I can top it. I know you can. All right. This all one's right. a good one. All right, all right. I want to tell mine too. Go ahead. All right. All right. So I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting there. 
I performed in front of all these NBA legends. It was like a, um, it was a charity event for Brian Grant. You know, okay, he's got okay, Parkinson's okay. and Michael J. Fox mm-hmm. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I perform, and I get done, and the next day is a golf outing. So mm-hmm. I'm there, and it's all, it's it's NBA legends, Barkley, and, and Bill Russell's daughter comes up to me, and she goes, oh, my God, Daddy thought you were so funny last night. You were so good. I said, oh, yeah, yeah. I said, who's your dad? She goes, Daddy. And she points to Bill Russell, and she was saying, Daddy, like, I don't know right, who dad is. Right. I go, oh, I said, oh, I love him. I was like... Hey, uh, you think it's possible? Because he, he's not getting out of his chair. He's right, just sitting right. there. Okay. He, she, I said, you think it's possible I can get a picture with him? She goes, oh, daddy, don't take pictures. And walked away. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> that was yeah, it. That yeah, went. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you had to like. You had to, like <laughs> literally. You had to see if you had daddy, to, don't take yeah, pictures. Yeah, yeah, you had to see if you had mustard in your shirt. Like, <laughs> you know. Hold yeah, on. Yeah. And then right, all of a sudden, right, 30 right. seconds later, there's him and Barkley taking a picture. I said, I thought daddy didn't take pictures. Right. I thought that motherfucker ain't taking pictures. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, why, that's why Bob Cousy yeah, didn't stick yeah. up for you. Right, that's why right. Bob Cousy didn't stick up for you. <laughs> but buddy, you know Buddy Lewis? Yeah. Buddy Lewis had a joke way back in D.C. where he said, you know, he, his whole act was based on an orange safety cone and all you could do with it, you know? And so he's, he says all these things that safety cone can do. He said, like when you had a party. You know, you see a fine chick, you know, and you go over and ask her to dance, and then she tells you no. You know what I mean? And you walk over, and then you see her dancing with another dude, the orange cone. You go over there and simply go, I thought you weren't dancing, bitch! You know what I mean? <laughs> no, he goes, bitch, I thought you said you weren't dancing! <laughs> I like to see Buddy Lewis's voice, too. <laughs> bitch, I thought you said you weren't dancing! <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> So, to, uh, to, taught me with the picture shit. Huh? Oh, yeah. I, I almost forgot. Well, I almost Russell's forgot. hard to I almost, forgot, I almost forgot, you know. Daddy don't take pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The walk away, though, got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daddy don't take pictures. Yeah, yeah. And away. gone. And gone. And then you, you know, take, yeah, take yeah, a picture yeah, with Barkley. You in and then headbutted your ass. Right. So, no, it was, it was, it was, um, I even forgot his name. It made me so mad. Uh, the only reason why I remember it is because I saw Short Shank the other night. Morgan um, Freeman? Right. So, I'm at a premiere with him. You know, and it's me and it's Robert Downey Jr. And we're all on the red carpet and we're doing our thing, right? And so he's coming my way, you know? And I'm like, he's closer. You know, I'll get to have a picture with him, watch. So his two nieces walk over to me. You're Tommy Davidson, can we take a picture? I say, yeah, sure. You know, click, 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 click. So I go, hey, hey, tell him that one of the kids from Electric Company wants to take a picture with him. Now, Morgan Freeman started as a, like, a, he, he was like the off-brand Sesame yeah. Street, right? Electric Company. Yeah, yeah. Boston Mass. Oh, two, one, three, four. No, the okay. best is the two you know. faces. Yeah, keep it to zoom. Shh. 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 Shit. Shh. Right, right, right. <laughs> Shh. Shh. Shut. Eat. Shh. Shh. Uh, Pumpkin. So, Daddy, so, right. don't take pictures. Daddy. Right, right, right. So I go, I go to him and I go, and, and I go, tell him, and I'm all sentimental, you know, I go, let him know one of the kids from the electric company wants to take a picture with him, right? And I watched him mouth it to him, right? Now, and I, I see him, he's got his glasses on, and he goes, um, you know, I'm like, ah, oh, damn. And then I look up, and he's hugging white children. <laughs> you know, he's got, like, little white kids in his arms, you know? He's like, you know, because it was a kid's movie. Yeah. So, so he spent the rest of the carpet just picking up white kids, you know, just, you know, you know and, the, and the poor little kid from Washington, D, inner city Washington, D.C., who watched him when he was a kid, he just told him, nah, man. But how old were you? Huh? What, when? When this happened. Th- that was recently. That was like a, probably about 10 years ago. Why didn't you just go up to him and say, let me get a picture? Eh, I mean, you know, you know how it go. You know how it I'm is. Like, Yo, Morgan, you know, you know. the bag. Hey, listen, we get star, you get starstruck. That's that's your starstruck. Yeah, the, not that's not the only one, but but I'm just saying, like when I see someone, like it took me. Who you, who who? Since you've been in the business, mm-hmm, not mm-hmm, not as a kid mm-hmm, and not coming right, up. Right, 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 right. Who since you've been established that you was like you was kind of starstruck? Eddie. Really? Yeah, Eddie. Because I watched Eddie from afar, and I never knew I'd ever be doing anything like that. Because my friend Howard said I could do it. You know what I mean? So here I'm with Eddie, and Eddie is at my shows. Eddie is Eddie. Eddie is near me. You know, no one could get near him. Eddie's the best. Eddie's the king of yeah. all of us, right? And um, 
So he started knowing who I was because I was a hot stand-up. And he's, I'd see him at the Beverly Center or a mall or something. I'd go, Eddie Murphy, hey, man. You know, but when I was around him, I couldn't talk. Like, I just couldn't act normal. Mm. My heart was beating and I'm sweating, you know what I mean? And um, even when we did the TV series, when he would be talking to me about notes and stuff like that, I was like a, a little girl. Like, I, could, I, I, I wasn't hearing him. Mm -hmm. I was just, like, scared. Like, I was like, what the hell? You know, it took yeah. me, it took me, it took me about a good solid year to get used to being around him, man. To just be used to being around him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mine's probably Joe Burrow, quarterback from the Bengals. <laughs> did you meet him? I did a whole story about, I don't want to talk about it. Did you meet him? Yeah, kind of. I did, I did a pep Not rally. Not kind of, kind of yeah, halfway. I did a pep rally for the Bengals, 30,000 okay. people. Okay. We was on stage together. Okay. I brought him on stage. Uh -huh. I asked my friend, I was like, yo, just. Make sure you get a picture of me and Joe for that. And he would have taken it. But I also told my friend. Why you didn't just amazing, go over there? Why you just go over there? I was hosting. I had a mic. I was actually working. I couldn't whip you my phone just out. Said, you could have said, hey, Joe. Ho no, it wasn't like that. He talked. Okay. Had his big fireworks display. I told my friend, yo, the only reason you're on the field is to take these pictures and videos. And I told him, make sure you get a picture of me and Joe. Of course. And, he got a job. You're going to make yeah, it. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I met all the other guys. Right, right, right. right. Uh... They're so busy looking at the fireworks, the Bengals leave the stage, and I go, the fuck? I'm sitting there going, Right, right. Ugh! Yeah. Hey, they're leaving. This Can I tell you I was going to leave the video? I don't give a fuck about the fireworks. Right, right. And he's gone. <laughs> and he's going to talk about me not going up to somebody. You had the mic. You could have, you're stand up. You could have, Joe, what's happening, man? You know, he good. had the mic. He had to talk 30,000. I was always in the background. Fuck you, Tommy. Oh, you didn't say that. Fuck you. I'm you glad didn't, Morgan didn't take didn't a picture with you. You didn't say you didn't have the mic. I'm glad say you didn't have the mic, right? not take a picture with you. He didn't say you didn't have the mic, right? No, you deserved that. <laughs> you deserved what about that. Boomer? Hold on. What about Boomer? Boomer's cool. He ain't Joe Burrow. All right. Boomer's cool. Okay, all right. He ain't, ain't nobody been like Joe Burrow. Okay, all right, okay. No, I, not the... I was there. It's weird having a franchise quarterback. I was there. Here's the difference. Boomer was in like year four or five for the Bengals with the Super Bowl. Go ahead, okay. Right? This is year two. And this shit's falling. Oh my God, that was Morgan Freeman. You're dead. <laughs> Hold on. That was, uh, okay. no, I told everybody that was, those were real You've bricks. You've been on a lot of sets, you know. I told um, everybody um, those um, were real bricks. Yeah, Thanks, yeah, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, 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 listen, listen. Joe Burrow starstruck? Okay. I'm trying to think. No, no, else. no, no, Boomer. Hold on, hold on. There's a difference between. No, but Burrow, you saw him coming between year. the two of them. Yeah, because Burrow is better. Okay. Mm -hmm. When Burrow gets to his second Super Bowl, he'll be good as Boomer. He'll be better. Boomer only went to okay. one. Okay. Boomer was great. So Don't we'll get just, it we'll just count the days. The season just ended. You know? Boomer is like the only albino white dude. He's an albino and white. Okay, mm -hmm. so do you know how white he is? Okay, he's like the bad dude in in um, what's the movie with Bruce Willis? I was thinking Lethal Weapon. Uh, uh, Lethal Weapon Gary Busey, you know, where the dude fought him and he was. Oh like, no no, yeah, he's yeah. like the guy on a uh, um, on what's the mountain movie with uh, Jude Law? Uh, Here we are with Civil the Civil War movie. Cold Mountain. Cold Mountain. He's like. The, Charlie Hunnam on Cold Mountain. A lot of people know Charlie Hunnam was the Cold bad Mountain. guy. It's a really good movie. Okay, okay. Charlie Hunnam, who was the main guy in Sons of Anarchy. We're looking for white albinos. But anyway. Sons of Anarchy? That TV show? You watch that? Yeah, but I never Tommy saw the albino. Goes. But Charlie Hunnam played the albino bad guy in that movie. Boomer, okay, ended up... No, Boomer didn't go twice. It was Kenny Anderson. No, Kenny Anderson only went once. Yeah. And Boomer went once. Yeah. And now Burrow went once. But right. Burrow okay. went here okay. too. Okay, you got a point. Yeah. Those Wait, guys are already why, there. Why am I years. talking about the Bengals? Well, I don't know. Because they're here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's they just went to the okay, Super Bowl. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's why. You're, you're right. You're right. They didn't get right. this. Right, 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 right. Got, right. They didn't get that. They didn't get that. Yeah. Well, how about this? How about this? The Vikings got four tiny ones, and you only got one. We got three now. You guys got four. Can I get an edge here? Bengals lost three times. Can I get any edge here? Two times the 49ers. And now the Rams. This guy, they kind of stopped playing California teams. Steelers. Steelers won like Hold five, on. six. We played the Chiefs. The Vikings. Yeah. You guys lost four. We, yeah, we played the Chiefs. Cowboys. Right? No, we played the Chiefs. We played the Dolphins. We played, um, we played um, Pittsburgh. 
Pittsburgh, yeah, for sure. Um, and we played, I can't remember the other one. Who's the other uh, one that the Vikings uh, uh, the lost? Raiders. The Raiders. No. Yeah, the Raiders. Yeah. You guys were never. I mean, look at the franchises that we played. But you guys think about it. You guys played you guys the Rams. Were never you guys really played the Rams in the 49ers. Yeah, the Rams never won nothing. They did. That was the showdown. Won't talk about that anymore. You don't know football. We're we're both kind of in the same. Look, we're we're both in the same kind of position. You know, Tommy, you don't know football. He's only he's only. But you lost three and I lost four. That's why. Coming to America didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> you get so mad about the sports teams. That's why right, 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 right. Morgan Freeman didn't take a picture. That's why coming to America never it, Was that why that, that, that poison dart was given to one of the crew guys? Because that's what that was. I'm talking to you and then, you know, and I'm like, you know, has darts been in my back the whole no, time? I like, I like, like Indiana that. Jones. Remember the guy was looking at him? Yeah. And he was like, you all right? And he fell and there was darts yeah. all in his back. Well, I, I like to end my podcast on a, on a low note, not a high yeah, note. You, you did. You got me on a high note. You were right for the nuts. Reasons! Yeah. Reasons that we... That's why there never was Jordan right, Man right, 2. Right, right, right. Ever, right. You've ever been in a sequel? Wait, wait, wait. You ever in a sequel? You know, I don't think so. I don't think so. That's, the only, that's the only one. I've been in some franchises. <laughs> not oh saying I was God. in the sequel, but I was I, in movies listen, with sequels. Listen, I have, I have an, a, a sentimental... Uh, affinity towards the Bengals. And I had it for this year because I did see that team. Now, let's, let's just talk football. Not Cincinnati, not Vikings, okay? That team beat every team worth it last year. The Bengals. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay? They won on the road to the Super Bowl. Right. Not one single home game. They had the Raiders was at home, right? But, then but they had to go that's to Tennessee. Early, yeah, that's already, and they had to go to Kansas City, all the way. Mm -hmm. So I'll give you that. And I like the quarterback. Thanks. He reminds me. Of, he reminds me of Brady when he came in the league. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's a beast, and I'm looking for the best in this guy. Okay. But you know why black people like Burrow so much? Why? Because Brady, Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. You don't. You you look at him. You're like they don't listen to hip hop. Mm -hmm. They don't listen to rap music. Oh, he comes from... He he's comes, like, he's yo, a, he's a different, but you he's believe him. You're like, nah, he, yeah. he, no, he's, no, no, no. Kid you, Cudi you, was at the post-game party. Yeah, it's a different party. generation. Yeah. How long till he's in a so, fur? It's a whole, huh? How long till he's in a fur? I don't think it's he's coming. ever going. I don't think he's ever going to be in a fur. Oh, he's going to be in a fur. You know, it's he, coming. I His think he swag went, just gets no, more but I think, more. but I think he went with the zebra, kind of a zebra sports jacket Watch. and some... and some and some, uh, and some um Some black and white Air Force Ones. Watch. You know? He gonna be on a fur yeah, next year. Yeah, he had the year. whole Jesus thing happening here. So yeah. you know, I, I, Brady, my my Brady story. Brady, um, uh, Bledsoe was at my show right before that Super Bowl. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And he had got hurt, and then Brady ended up going. So Tom is I'm at the at um, in the bungalows at the uh, in Miami. Forgot the name of the hotel, but it's the the the, the um, Fancy one, right? Not the Fountain Blue. Uh, no, it's it's um, I can't can't remember. It's on it's on Collins, but it's one of the one of the main ones. That narrows it down. So yeah, you know, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> Collins is in Fort Collins, like Colorado this. as well. Oh, okay, Collins. yeah, everyone has a Collins. Right by Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right by Starbucks. Right. So so uh, um, so I'm there in the suite, and you know I'm walking out to go somewhere, and him and his boy were were by the pool. You know, I'm like, oh man, wow. Brady, and he's with his boy. His his main boy was the center at the time, and he was like, yeah. I was like, hey man, you you know you were good, you you know keep doing what you're doing like that kind of thing, and um I said um what are you you know what are you doing this week? And he said I don't know. We're just here, you know. We don't know where to go and this that and the other thing. So I said all right, you know give me a number and stuff, and I'll I'll hook you up with some stuff. Man, he went to every I went to every hot club in Miami that I know of and said, yo, this guy's coming here. Let him in here. Blah, 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 blah. You know, so he got he got the VIP treatment his first year in Miami because mm -hmm. I rolled that carpet out for him and all the little connections that I had. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I haven't seen him since. I'm sure he can get so, in now. Yeah, he can get in now. Yeah. You know? He and, can get and, in. And, you know, I'm pretty I'm sure he can get in hoping he'll remember that. You know? Pretty sure he can get in I mean, now. He got in the mint and all the places you couldn't get in. You know? Let me tell you a, 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 a funny Aaron Rodgers story. It's real short. Mm -hmm. It's not like I met him. Mm -hmm. Louisville. Remember they used to have the um, 
Is it Funny Bone or Improv? It's Louisville for people Louisville? who live there. Yeah, Louisville, Louisville for people who live there. Did you right. ever perform at that club? Is that right Darren there? Cabot? What? No. Is that Darren Cabot? No. Okay. Do you remember the... He's the husband on Bewitched. <laughs> I'm old. But go ahead. <laughs> I was okay. like this. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck <laughs> yeah. are you talking about? Yeah, you're right. He's like, huh? Um, He's like, go ahead. Did you ever perform at that comedy club in Louisville? It was an Improv or Funny Bone. I can't remember which one. It was on the second floor, and there was a Wet Willies in front of it. I have to think back. Anyways. Right. Aaron, yeah, 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 yeah. I performed there. On Fourth Street A little escalator Live between it. Yeah, a little escalator between it. It's like the event places. Like yeah. All the restaurants across yeah. the street from each other. Yeah. 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 They just won a Super Bowl. This was mm -hmm. Kentucky Derby weekend. And uh, I look over, and I was either the week before I was coming. I don't know why I was there, but it was like two, two days before the Derby or something like that. I'm with Wet Willies. I look over, and at the end... In a baseball hat is Aaron Rodgers by himself sipping on something mm -hmm. from Wet Willies. And I remember looking like, God, looks like Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. And my boy goes, that is Aaron Rodgers. I go, no, the fuck it ain't. Because mm -hmm. we're doing the whole, who the fuck's he with? We're, we're literally right, like right. five people, right, 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 like right, right. two in the afternoon at right, Wet Willies. Right, right. He's not talking to nobody. He's just sitting there mm -hmm. sipping on like a mm -hmm. Superman. Right. And I'm just going... Know. What the fuck's it? Right. And we never went over and talked to him because you're like, why? I don't want to disturb him. Okay, okay. Why are you here by yourself? Okay, okay. So I didn't bother him. He might be by himself now. I mean, he's one of yeah. the. Got but it was just an he odd thing. Like, now, by now. He's all you know? by himself at I the mean, end of the bar with Willie. Hey, man, hey, you know, you remember how many chicks were down there? At Kentucky Derby? Yeah. No, I was married at the time. No. I wasn't okay, paying okay, attention. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a wink on that one. Like this. No. No. no right, 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 right. Nah, man, no. Nah. Saw you know, dudes and no, horses. Not at all, not at all. Saw horses yeah, that, and men. That's why he was there by himself. Yeah. Okay? Horses and men. He was waiting for the group of chicks to go, are you Aaron Rodgers? But that, that's another thing why you I know? don't yeah. I don't go up to dudes like that at uh -huh. bars. Like, nowadays you hope you make eye contact and they give you the whole, because comedians right, right, be right, like, right. oh. Right. But I learned, I'm not going to say who, it was a Hall of Fame yeah, wide yeah, receiver sure. came yeah. up to me and mm -hmm. schooled me on all that. He goes, yo, man. If you want to You think... You think we, he was like, I just remember asking this dude, right. I think he asked for a picture of just mm -hmm. bullshit with him. He goes, hey man, listen, you think I'm here to meet guys? Mm -hmm. and he, mm -hmm. But the way he put it was, I don't take pictures. I'm not here. He's like this, but the last thing I want to do, I got enough friends. Who is that? I'm not going to tell you on the air. I'll tell you off here. All right, all right. Because I want to throw him on the bus because we cool now. I, I, was had, like, I had one, one NBA star call me across the room, you know. Hey man, come here, man. I was like, oh, wow, you know. This is at the movies, everything. So I know he knows who I am, you know. He goes, hey, man, what's up, man? I'm cool, man. Can you go get that girl for me, man? Hysterical. You know, and the girl was sitting next to me. You know, go get that girl for me. You know what I mean? And I was like, motherfucker, I ain't no escort service. Right. You know? And then I went over there, and I got her anyway. And I brought her over. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I said, here you go, man. You know? <laughs> Go, she was man. with me last night at IHOP, you know. Like this. That's why J-Lo yeah. doesn't talk yeah. to you. I met her at the IHOP, dude. Yeah. You know, <laughs> now we know why J-Lo doesn't have talk to you. You, know. you saved me some pancakes tonight. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> and batter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got to end this because we're going to start name dropping the wrong names. Thank you. About you the like wrong that one? Shit. And batter. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Taiwan. Well, I'm glad we finally got to be on camera together. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. man. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. How far are we over lunch? A, a true stand-up. Where are we at right now? 134. And I'm probably late, too. My wife is probably calling me. You're oh, at your next appointment. Yeah, you said 1230. We're way over. You're at your next appointment. All right, man. Appreciate you coming okay. on, Tommy. But that's because it was fun, man. I know. I'll do it again, man. Right. Let me know, man. Appreciate it. That was fun, man. Yeah, whatever. Great show, man.